Hi, everybody. Theo the Juggernaut with you Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Great news. The Winnipeg Jets, as we all know, 4 nothing victors. A shutout for Connor Hallebach. 27 saves. Greatest thing is the fact that the scoring came from four different scorers. And three of those four scorers finally getting their first one of the year. Chris Thorburn. Josh Morrissey finally netted the first one of his career in the first. And Nick Patan scoring in the third. Patrick Laine scoring his 12th. We expect that from him, from the big guy. Bottom line, it looked fluid, it looked magical, it looked fantastic in the forward side of things. And defensively, rock solid. Not a lot of great second chances for the Chicago Blackhawks. Clearing the front of the net, not a lot of dumb penalties taken. The puck was moving from the defense into the neutral zone, through the offensive zone. And most of the play was taken care of in the Hawks' offensive zone. Well done, Winnipeg. Great job on all fronts, actually. It's starting to look like a cohesive unit and considering everybody that's out of the lineup and with the gel and the glue that they've had to use to pick things up and to make a lineup day in and day out with the leadership at the top with Buff and Wheeler and having the goal scoring from line A and shuffles and having some of these players getting and netting their first, congratulations. It looks very interesting. I mean, who's to say and who's to think how long this run is going to last? I don't think it's going to be something where you look at it and figure, okay, they've kind of peaked now, you know, 15 games in, 18 games in now, and they're just going to peter out into January and February. You have to remember and you have to think, players like Armia, Perot are not in the lineup right now. Myers is still out. So these are the prime players that we have on this roster, and it's not like we're losing any type of uh, performance either forward or defensive wise Nick Patan's filled in very well he's done much better this year considerable Josh Morrissey does not look out of place he looks a fantastic player alongside Dustin Bufflin we are seeing the chemistry between Sherratt and Postma and what to do with Jacob Truba I mean he since he's a turn has created this upswing for the Winnipeg Jets now I'm not going to say it's solely him but you add a player of his caliber and his size and the mentality is saying, listen, I'm here to work. Sign my paper. Stop asking the stupid questions. I'm here to work. And he's doing exactly that. Putting over 20 minutes in a game. Filling in where needed. Providing the defensive play. I'm buying back into the Jacob Truba camp. Whether he's looking to get traded or not. He's playing to his expectations and above. We just got to get him on the score sheet now. And all is fair in love and war. This guy has made the defensive core more solid, and more popular in Winnipeg. Now, they've gone in, they've won, I believe, four of the last five. They go on their longest road games here, five in a row now, heading out east to play Philly tomorrow, Carolina, Nashville, Minnesota, and they're going to come back after five games to play the home-and-home with Nashville near the end of the month. So this is going to be a battle-tested road weekend for the Winnipeg Jets. Will they get people back? Who knows? Injury aside, they are starting to build a cohesive unit. And much props has to go to Pascal Vincent down below in the Moose organization. Because last year, he knew the mentality. He knew the philosophy coming in to being a Winnipeg Jets player. And it wasn't consistent last year with the coaching staff they had. Turn the clock forward. We're into 2016. He's taken over that team. Sure, they're having a bit of an issue right now, losing the last two in San Diego. But what they've done with that mentality in the locker room and what it takes to be a Winnipeg Jet and go from the AHL to the NHL, we're seeing players like Patan, Morrissey, Chase DeLeo getting called up recently with the last bit of injury. Quentin Howden's in there. Andrew Kopp is there. These guys have played there before in short stints. Now they know what it takes to stay up there. And it's going to be a decision for Paul Maurice when these injuries are finished up. I mean, Little, Perot, Myers. I mean, those are big three we're missing. Stafford's another one. And Armia, what can you say? I mean, it's a bad decision to make, but it's a bad, good decision to have. I mean, if you had to release any players or had to take players and say, listen, you got to go back down. You did your part. we got to bring in the old guy again. You know what? I'll take that type of uh, decision making any day. As opposed to saying, oh man, we got to fill a second for a third, a third for a fourth. We got to go make a trade. None of that is being discussed anymore. The Winnipeg Jets are for real right now. 
They are playing like a great caliber team. They're sitting second in the standings right now, behind Chicago only. I mean, they're doing great things. Get on this bandwagon if you haven't got on it. And let's see what these guys can do in the next five games on the road, starting tomorrow night in Philly. It's going to be a battle-tested, pounding kind of a game. Philly always brings their A game, especially at home. One of the hardest rinks to play in any NHL, I'll tell you that. So good job, Winnipeg Jets, last night. Well done. Way to protect your house. Way to play awesome in your house. And continue playing with this magic in the sense of togetherness, this sense of inclusion. We'll call it the inclusion year because we're having everybody buy into the right system. They're understanding their role. They're piggybacking each other. They're not letting one person take the brunt of everything. They are all in this collectively. I love this attitude. Keep it up. This is Theo the Juggernaut saying all things positive on this hump day. Congratulations. Let's see where this takes us tomorrow night in Philly. And good luck, boys. Have fun.